Hi. So, I realized that I told all of you that you should be practicing over break, but we've never talked about how do you practice. Um, there are a lot of tendencies to where time people will just play through their music straight down. So like in all of your stuff that I gave you this week, you know, play through example number 11 or nine or whatever. That doesn't just mean play through it once and you're done. No, try to find something to fix each time. Um, and th this applies for any instrument, but when you are practicing, you shouldn't jump straight into your music. What you should do is you should find some warm-ups that we do, and once we get back into class, you will learn a few more of those as a class. But for all of my brass people, mouthpiece buzzing. And with the mouthpiece buzzing, try to get as clear of a buzz as possible. We don't want the airy sound to kind of come through our buzz. See how I'm getting that hissing? We want a nice solid buzz. Now I'm still getting a little bit of hiss and that's fine, but try to get it and focus it and being as clean as possible. And then all my woodwind people, um, you should practice doing the same thing on your mouthpieces. And so for saxophones and clarinets, that's doing those, those honking sounds. And then for flute, you can take your head joint off and then you put your hand there just to practice getting that sound and getting your embouchure warmed up. Now starting out with a warm, out is, warm up is really important because if you jump straight into your music, you're more likely to make mistakes and have some you know, muscular stuff go wrong if you didn't warm up. It's just like with doing anything with exercise, you stretch before you run, otherwise you're gonna pull something. Um, and it's the same thing in music. So make sure that you're finding a warm up. And one of my favorite warm ups, aside from doing mouthpiece buzzing, it's called long tones. Play all of your the first five pitches but play them super, super long. Now the reason why long tones are so important is that I'm sure in your practice you'll start noticing that holding that long pitch and sustaining it so it's not where it's kind of shaky, that's hard to do. You, you need to get those muscles and start building them now. So do some long tones at the start, do some mouthpiece buzzing, and then get into your music. And the important thing with your music, practicing is not just playing the music straight down. Practicing is isolating certain parts that you are not doing well and fixing and focusing on just that part and trying to clean it up. Now there are times where in your practicing you might want to do a full run through but the important thing is that if you make any mistakes, even if this is the tiniest little chip, wrong note, whatever, stop, go back and fix it. Otherwise you're not practicing anything, you're practicing mistakes. You're, you're playing those mistakes, ignoring it and moving on. We don't want that. You need to focus and make it as clean as possible. And I'll, I'll try to do some other videos talking about practicing, but I thought that that would be a good little starter for this week to get used to what to do when you practice. Awesome. Well, I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, please email me. Bye.